So first port of call for what we need to do is we need to give you the feeling of what it's like to stay a little bit more taller at the top of the backswing and then just give you a, a simple little adjustment in regards to where to shift your pressure and what your focus for that downswing move should be. Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at a live lesson with Ben. Now Ben is a very low handicapper himself, plays off about scratch, and we're gonna be working through his full swing today, giving him a bit of understanding of where he really struggles with a little bit of his ball striking and also start line direction. Now, even though Ben is a very high level golfer, this is a common issue I see amongst golfers, no matter what level they're at, of how this backswing movement in the pivot really affects the quality and consistency of the ball striking in the downswing. So I'm sure a lot of you will get uh, a bunch out of today's video. I hope you enjoy. All right, so Red flag is the target, keep hitting those shots. Now, if anything at the moment, what would you say that your miss is? Is it it's starting good. right, starting left? It's, uh, it's full left. Okay, and what sort of curvature would we see? It wouldn't be much, like, it'd be a small draw, um, four or five yards, 10 maximum, but it just starts left and goes left. Starts left and goes left, okay. and strike on the face, toe, heel, thin. It's usually quite hot, so it's usually strikes not too bad, it's actually quite compressed, it just, you can feel it straight off the bat and you just know it's going that. So a couple of those sound a little bit thin. Yeah. And what have you been working on in your swing lately, if anything? I've noticed that the backswing seems quite good. And then on the way down, this tends to drop here. Drops down here and then I have to... Okay, so you feel like the club head gets stuck behind. Yeah. Then you've got no room and then you feel stuck. Yeah. Your body comes out of it. And then okay. you have to sort of flip it. And that's, I think that's where a bit of that inconsistency comes from. If I flip it too much, it's going to go straight left. And Would, if I don't, then it stays up to the right. Yeah, okay. So you feel like you can miss it right and left at the moment? On a bad day, yeah. Yeah. For sure. And when you feel like you strike a shot well, mm -hmm. is it still a pull? No. Straight? Just straight, yeah. Okay. Keep going for me. I know, I know when I feel like I'm hitting it well because it's always well balanced. Mm -hmm. I've got, I finished with all my weight on that left, left leg. And Do sometimes you feel like you hang back through the ball? For sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. I think that might be a case of... So, we'll record this so you can re-watch it, just to give you a better understanding kind of where it's at at the moment. Yeah. So the setup piece is relative to what we'd be looking for, right? Um, for you, where we'd like to see you at address, balls of feet, butter club, back of triceps all in one line. Mm -hmm. So balance position at address looks really good. Cool. Uh, posture, lower back, not too much S curve there, which has been a tendency of yours for a little bit, but yeah. it's getting better and better. And ball reasonably underneath the, the lead here. Now, upper body's slightly too far forward address, but there's no harm done there. Okay. Right? So within reason for the backswing pivot, we'd like to see the head stay relatively centered. Right? It's allowed to shift off slightly, but we certainly would never want to see these hips at the top of the backswing move away from the target. So move in this direction. Yeah. Right? So we can see that the head does drop down yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's always been a... Right? Now, 
when the head drops down, if we have a look over here on the right hand side, which if you compensate for it, it's not the end of the world, but it can mess with the sequencing of your swing. So the relationship between the body, the arms and the club. And the more we tidy up that, the better it's going to get. So the camera just moves there a little bit. So you can see that you actually, the reason that you are squatting down is you're actually pushing really deep back into this trail side and pushing your head down. Now, we know that historically you haven't had the best hip turn, yeah. right? So when you've been trying to create this hip turn, you've been pushing this trail hip back, right? Right. Which is then dipping the head down. Now, there are players who do that and get away with it. Yeah. But what that does encourage through the space is it's hard to get forward enough through the ball. Mm -hmm. So we're generally going to see that you hang back. So over here on the left hand side, if we then draw this vertical line that would extend up from here, mm -hmm. what we're going to see is that your upper and lower body, there's not enough of what's called a disassociation. So a difference between what the lower body is doing and the upper body. Right. So if you were to get that look like you see with the pros where they'll get this beautiful convex shape to their body through the ball what we're going to see as we continue to extend on through you is you'll see that it looks like your hips are back your arms have flown forward and you almost get this concave look right so if we go back right, a couple of frame like a c-shape almost yeah so you would go more like this right right Whereas the professional by that stage, if you think about all the like, real classical swings of how it would look, they'd have this nice big curve to their body. Yeah. Where the pelvis would be the apex, right? The more in space at the moment of impact my hips are back, the more the club's gonna arc around our body, which means that the more likely it's gonna go left. Yeah. Okay, which is where you're gonna feel like you hang back. So from the top of the swing, if we could get a little bit taller, mm -hmm. right? Then it's easier to get this transition where the hips are moving forward, the upper body stays back, and then achieving this look that you see there, right. which in space will get the club path in the direction headed more online and slightly out to the right. Okay. So if I'm setting up once again, my head shifts down and back, yeah. it makes it very hard to shift forward enough. So I'm going to tend to rotate on the spot. You can see the club path is gonna go left. My back as an exaggeration, right? Yeah. My upper body is down, my hips are back. Whereas if we were getting taller at the top, okay, so we're not shoving our weight so far back into our trail heel, then as we were then pushing forward with the lower body, the upper body would stay back, giving you this look here. And you'll see from the down the line view that that club path is going to be sending more out to the right. Okay. So first port of call for what we need to do is we need to give you the feeling of what it's like to stay a little bit more taller at the top of the backswing. And then just give you a, a simple little adjustment in regards to where to shift your pressure and what your focus for that downswing move should be. Okay. So if you set up here with no ball for me. Would that be like a, a butt feel, for lack of a better term, like not wanting to do that? Or would it be yeah, so your head and it will stop the butt from going back? What we'll do is just set up to the ground there. Okay, so close your eyes and swing to the top and stop. What did that feel like? Relatively simple. Okay. Parts are kind of Okay, start with the club on the ground. Good, swing to the top. Great, so restart again, sit up. Now, I'm gonna put my hand up against your hip, mm -hmm. swing to the top, keep your hip on my hand, go. Okay, so see how it moved away from my hand, right? Right. So that is what we call a reverse pivot. If I'm starting with my hand up against my hip and my hip drifts away, yeah. right? That is a reverse pivot. So even though you stayed taller then, yeah. that's also going to cause you to hang back too much, True. right? So from the address position, if there was a line up against my lead hip, my head would stay relatively centered mm -hmm. and I would pivot around this point, okay? So you can see that within reason, this butt line would stay forward. Mm -hmm. That would make it easier to shift forward. But if this sways and moves away, mm -hmm. it's too hard for me to go forward, I'm gonna spin out again. Yeah. So set up again for me. Good. Okay, so keep the hips forward, right? So keep your hand, good. Now that's gonna feel different. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay, so that's perfect. Now from there, right, your first move should feel like a nice push down through the ball of the feet. There you go. Now where does that feel like your path's gonna go? That way. Yeah, big time. So yeah. let's do some swings of that, right? So you're gonna set up, 
Good. Restart. Do that again. Okay, swing to the top. Perfect. Now go. Now from there. Good. And again. Wow. So lead hip stays up against my hand, right? Good. And just let the arms release. Okay. Good. Okay. And again, let's do it yourself. Mm -hmm. Good. So when you stay up against that left side, mm -hmm. we don't want to stack it like this. This lead hip would stay in position if you have a look at my upper body as I then turn around it. So you're almost going to feel like your head is swiveling on its axis like this. So it's not that it's like shifting off the ball, yeah. but if it stays too centered, well then I'm gonna reverse pivot again. Yeah.